welcome to my mukbang. That's no good. <laughs> How could I do this, you guys? figure this out. Mm. There. Okay, nothing fall. <gasps> oh my god, I think I figured it out. <gasps> oh my god. I'm so, <laughs> so gonna lose all my food. Oh, oh boy. What do I do? Book. My book work? Let me try my book. No. See, eventually, if I pile enough things on top of each other, it'll work, right? Ah, Paul's getting frustrated. Not high enough, though. You make me live. Stay in there. Oh, you're my best friend. Oh, you make me live. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> oh. There. <laughs> okay. I'm tired of trying. Oh, did I forget my dips? Balls, I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what this one is. But it looks good. This one is ranch. Oh, mmm. Dill. Mmm. And this one, I think it's a uh, sweet chili sauce. Some lemon. As usual, I don't have a napkin. Okay, so <laughs> these guys here are cheese, cheese filled, something, something, something. So I'm going to use this dip. I think it, it might be like an aioli. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> I don't have my, any of my little toys from home that's in my mukbang studio. So, I brought this little guy. I got him from Jasper when we were there. Yeah. <laughs> mm. This is the dry rib, it's really good. I love dry ribs. Oh. Almost every time my husband and I get Chinese food, I want the dry ribs. Mm -hmm. His favorite is the beef and broccoli. Mm -hmm. Yum. And this is the, the spear, the dill, dill spear. Put that in the ranch. I've got to do so much cutting because of this music. Maybe I should just go shut it off. Mm. I'm thirsty. You know, so there are, right now, I can see twelve campers, or twelve, yeah, twelve campers, but I don't see one person. I hear a couple of voices, I don't see anybody, and I have not seen anybody walking, nothing, and I've seen there's been quads and stuff going around, 
I'm sure that's the people that work here. Yeah. Anyway, and I hear a uh, campfire. Because I can hear the cracking. Crack, crack, crack. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. I think uh, I'm going to start a campfire. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Surprise, hubby. Okay, so these things here, mm. Mm. they have like, I don't know what it is, but it tastes, it really tastes like mac and cheese. And it smells like mac and cheese. Put my glasses on. Ooh. Hi guys! Welcome to my mukbang. Okay, so like it looks like peppers and stuff, cauliflower, cheese. I really don't know what it is. Excuse me. <laughs> A vehicle just went by. That means people here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Want some? Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> oh, yeah. How's that? Burp. <laughs> mm. It was him. Mmm. <laughs> Now I have that song stuck in my head. 18 till I die. Hot wing. I asked for a really spicy one. They're hot, but they're not like super hot. Mm. Mm, yum. I'm very good. Um, what kind of sauce would this be? I think it might be Frank's. Maybe Frank's. I don't know. Hard to say. Because there's some really good ones out there. Mm. There are not very many hot sauces that I don't like. I have a whole shelf of hot sauces. Mm hmm. And they have shit the bed hot sauce. They have three different levels. I think it's 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10, and 16 out of 10. 16 out of 10 disappeared first. Mm -hmm. So did I tell you guys I was growing my own reaper peppers? Yes. If all goes well, I'm probably going to have no less than 50 reaper peppers. Mm -hmm. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. And dry it up, dry it up, turn it into powder. Mm -hmm. Then all I need is just a little bit. A little tiny bit when I make stuff to make it like really hot. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any suggestions? Let me know. Comment below. <laughs> mm. Mm. So I had, I had the surgery, right? So that I can only eat so much food, right? 
uh, water and liquids go down pretty good. It takes about 20 minutes for it to slowly go through. I don't drink a, a lot of water when I'm eating, but I do sip while I'm eating because if anything is dry, it'll like get stuck and it's really, really uncomfortable. So I usually sip while I'm eating. But still, I get full pretty fast. For example, I'm pretty full right now. How much did I have? I had two wings. I had one rib, one rib I think. I had one um, cheese, <sighs> one of the cheese things, one of these guys, and one of these, or maybe two of these things um, that taste like craft dinner. And I'm pretty full already. But I'm not gonna stop yet. I'm not totally full. I just don't want to be uncomfortable. So I'll give it a couple minutes and then I can have a, like a little bit more. But anyway, I want to show you guys something. So I bought this a few years ago and I started using it. I started using it, but I didn't keep up with it. A harmonica. Yep. And right here you can see the numbers. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see the numbers? Sorta. Of. Anyway, that kind of that tells you what when you're supposed to blow and what you're supposed to blow or whatever and like sometimes you you might cover two or three holes at the same time. Yeah, so I I started I was doing it for a little bit, but then I slacked off and then I should really get back on it because I have a lifetime membership on, on this, um, the tutorials. Yeah. But anyway, just for laugh, I'm going to try it. I don't even remember. Honestly, I don't even remember how to hold it properly, but I think it's something like this. Maybe. I think. I don't know. But anyway. Anyway, I want to I want to try to get back into it again. <laughs> yeah. So my friend and I, my name, my friend Sherry, uh, we both got them, and uh, we both started taking the lessons at the same time, and we both slacked off at the same time. And now she just started learning how to use the ukulele. I know, and I'm so jealous. I had bought my son one many, many years ago. And when my husband and I were uh, heading to Hawaii to get married and stuff, and I wanted my son to play the little ukulele at the wedding and stuff, but he was too shy, so that never happened. But anyway, eh. Yep, but the wedding was great. Oh my God, in Hawaii, oh my God, on the beach. We even brought the cake on the beach. The lady, the late um, wedding planner, she's like, oh, you don't want the cake on the beach. It's too sandy, it gets really windy and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I want my cake on the beach. <laughs> Um, coconuts that we drank out of and oh it was so nice we had they let um, the doves were in a a cage or whatever and they opened it and all the doves flew out it was beautiful and we had um, a band it was really cool 
and the fellow that married us, I don't, I don't think he's, I don't think he's like a minister or anything. He's more of like a spiritual guy or whatever. I think he played the conch shell, shell. But yeah, so we had like the drumming and all that stuff. We had the birds. We had oh, and the hula dancer. Yeah, and then. In the evening, I treated everybody to the luau. <laughs> hey, I don't care. So we had a huge table. Actually, maybe it was two tables, yeah. And we were all sitting there, and it was awesome. Oh my God, what a feast. It was beautiful. Yeah, and my dad went. My dad, my son, some friends. Oh, it was wonderful. And my husband went. <laughs> My son. Yeah, it was really good. Good times. Oh, and I did. I did wreck the dress or whatever that's called. I decided I was gonna go into the water with my wedding dress on, with my bridesmaids. And it's a good thing they came with me because I'm telling you, that dress was pretty big, big, and. That water weighed me down. The wave almost took me out. <clears throat> I'm not joking. It was scary. I don't recommend it. I really don't. I don't recommend anybody going into the water with a wedding dress. Or any dress. Like seriously, you're going into the water dress for the water. I was I was scared. But anyway, my girls were there and they picked me up, pulled me out of there. Yeah, I was freaked out. <sighs> but then I went to um Food flying. I went to um, the washroom and changed and then I brought the wedding dress to the dumpster and I threw it in the dumpster. If I had my time back I definitely would have tried to give it away to somebody. All they needed to do was just get it dry clean. Yeah. I felt bad about that. Yeah. Oh well. Hindsight, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, mm -mm. I'm making a mess. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that people walking? There's life. I'm licking my fingers, but kind of worried the little dark spots might be bugs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
I just tasted the lemon. It's so good. Okay, you guys. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for listening. Thanks for eating with me. Did you eat anything? I hope you had a snack while you were watching. Take care. Me and Smokey say goodbye. Hi, guys. We are in Sylvan Lake. And it is beautiful here. There used to be big, huge water slides and everything like that, but that's all closed down now because it was here for like 36 years or something. Anyway, look at how many people are here. It's busy all the way up and down. It's crazy. It's gorgeous here. Lots of boats and stuff and people out in the water. Don't get dizzy. <laughs> awesome what a nice day what do you think my love i think it's awesome here <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> We're grassing. See? <laughs> oh, what's in my ear? Oh, the camera. It's taking pictures of my ear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's so sunny, hey? Oh, it's beautiful. So nice here. Let's take a picture of our sexy bodies. You ready? Suck your belly in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I can't really see. I can't see. Did you suck in? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs>